And now I'm going to start off with this image here of our tall ship and we're going to be applying some texture to it. The texture I've got in mind is this one here. Now there's loads of textures out there. All you need to do is Google, other search engines are available, but just put in textures and it's surprising what you can come up with. Now to get the texture from here to our tall ship, we're going to pick up the move tool. Now with the move tool, I'm going to click down. Now watch what happens to the cursor. As soon as I start to lift it up, it becomes a black arrowhead. We're going to come over to the tab here for our tall ship. Now don't release your pen or mouse just yet, but instead hold down that shift key. Holding down the shift key, releasing your pen or mouse, the texture goes directly over the top. Now I know it's going to be hanging over the edge with this particular image. So what we need to do is go to image, transform, free transform. Now that's applied the transform tool. We can just see part of the frame here. Part of the frame is lost. So I'm going to use a shortcut, which is command zero, control zero. That's command zero, control zero, and it zooms out to where the transform tool is. Let's come to the side one here. We're going to click on this. We're going to bring it into that area there. Let's come to the top. Let's bring that into that position, come into the bottom. We're going to lift that up and just this side here is remaining. Once you're happy, bring your cursor inside the frame and double click. There it is. It has now been applied to see through. All we need to do is come to the blend modes. Now with the blend modes, the useful ones that are worth trying, it's going to be hard lights. It's going to be overlay and it's going to be soft lights. Now for this particular one, we're going to start off using soft lights. Now that we've applied this, how about tone in the picture? If you come up to this icon here, we've got an adjustment layer. Click on it. The adjustment layer we're going to be using is going to be hue saturation. Now with the hue saturation panel, you've got hue, saturation, luminance. We've also got colorize. This is where we can tone the picture. So just put a tick in the box. As soon as you do that, look what happens. The hue slider now shoots across. We've got a nice, yeah, ready color picture. Let's bring it in. We got uh, some nice sepias there. We've got cyanotypes coming right the way through to again to a ready color picture. Let's bring it back. My favorite one has got to be, let's use 40 there. Saturation, you can change this to whichever one you want. But my favorite has got to be 10 like the way this is looking. You can also use the lightness to make it brighter, to make it darker, entirely up to you. But I'm going to leave this set on. Uh, let's take it back to zero. That will do nicely. Now this is looking right the way through the image. So we're looking through the top here. It's looking through our layer one, which is that texture. If I just switch it off, you can see there it is. It's still a color image underneath. Let's add another texture to it. And the texture I've got in mind is this one here. Now I took this, it was in my shed window, it was a glass window, very cold night, it had frosted over. And that's an important thing as well. When you're out and about with your camera, if you see something, take a picture of it. You never know when that texture is going to come in handy. So here it is. Here's our piece of frosted glass. Again, still got the move tool. I'm going to click down. So we're going to lift it up till we come over to the tab. I'm going to press and hold down shift on the keyboard, releasing my mouse or pen and in it goes directly over the center. Now this one's a little bit on the small side. Now once again, we can still use that command T, control T, that's for the transform tool, don't forget. Press and hold down that alt or option, just saves you the hassle of uh, doing it twice. Holding down alt or option again, the two sides come out equally. That will do nicely, bringing my cursor inside the framework, double click into apply. Right, let's change the blend mode. Let's take a look at uh, overlay. See how that's going to work. Yeah, rather nice, gritty, isn't it? Let's drop the opacity down to something like that there. Now the darkest part, as we can see from the thumbnail, is on the bottom. It's around this area. I think I'd prefer this on the top. So how can we do that? Well, once again, it's back to that transform tool. So it's Command T, Control T. Let's grab hold of the bottom. Let's lift that up. Let's come to the top. We're going to grab hold of this. We're going to drop that down into that position there. Let's lift it up even further. There will do nicely. Double click into apply. Let's drop down the opacity even further or change the blend mode. Let's take a look at soft lights. That looks better. Still dropping down the opacity into that position there. Right. How about experimenting a little bit more? Let's just come to the hue saturation. This is our toning layer. I'm going to click on this. 
I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to put it between layer one and layer two. You can see that black line there. So just releasing it. So we've now got this blue layer on top. Look what that does to the image. A nice little bit of split toning. Quite like that. So I think I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. Let's take a look at another texture again. Now this one has got to be one of my favorites. The reason why it's my favorite is we've got this light center to this texture. So I'm going to click down with this as we've done before. Black arrow head coming up to our image here. I'm going to press and hold down shift on the keyboard, shift on the keyboard, releasing my pen or mouse. Once again, it's gone directly into the center. So I'm going to use Command T, Control T, Command T, Control T for that tr transform tool. I'm going to press and hold down the Alt or the Option key. Top and bottom coming out equally into that position there. Let's come to the side, still holding down Alt or Option, dragging that out into this position here. Double click into Apply. There it is. Let's change the blend mode from Normal. Let's take a look at uh, Soft Lights. Look at the way that sort of brightens the center part of the picture. Let's grab hold of our hue saturation. Let's lift it up above layer three. So in that goes, you can't, yeah, there's not a lot of difference there, but I like the way this is working. If you just switch it on and off, you can see all these textures are now working together. There's our top layer there as well. And if you just switch it on and off, and you may think, yeah, it's perhaps just still a little bit hard. Click on it, let's drop it down even further using that opacity slider. I just want a little bit of a trace. Now if I switch that on and off, like the way that's working, I think I'd like it toned all over there. So I'm going to click on layer two, going to grab it, drop it down below our hue saturation layer. There, that looks better. Command zero, control zero goes to fit on screen, bringing my cursor inside. I'm going to right click, let's select black. We've now got a black background. I'm going to press tab on the keyboard. That has removed all of the panels so we can now just see the picture. Just what I'm after. Go on, give it a try. Just experiment, but it's just a great way of seeing how you can transform your picture. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.